Hey guys, it's Mace here again with another raw, unscripted, uncut video of subsistence. Gonna polish up on Metal Rebel's um, mass and electricity exploit, I suppose, using Cheat Engine. So when you fire up subsistence, first thing you want to do is turn it into window mode. And that's simply just hitting Alt Enter when you're at the main screen, turns it into window mode. And then you pull up your Cheat Engine, and you do a search for subsistence, then you load your subsistence and uh, then you can go in and host your game. Now the problem with electricity and mass is narrowing it down to its exact address. So you're going to want to go to your BCU and you're going to want to turn things on and off to limit it to get it as close to a slow trickle in or slow trickle out so that it's easier to narrow down. There right now it's still a little fast so I'm going to go turn some lights on. Okay, that's a pretty slow trickle. should be very easy to nail down right now. So now you're going to want to pull up Cheat Engine, and you're going to want to do a new scan. Um, I'd do a value between. It's easier and make sure your value type is set to float because it changes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna punch in our value between min max. So we're gonna start out with 1600 and we're gonna to go to like a 1605. So once our electricity over here on the left hits 1600, we do our first scan. It's gonna pull up everything with the numeric value between 1600 and 1605. And that's 18,000 results. So now what we're going to do is we're going to change it to 1610, 1615, next scan. And there we go. There's our electricity. Now you're going to want to use the one that decimal places because the other one is just a um, physical view and it doesn't actually do anything. So when you pull this up now, this is the address for the electricity. Now you can manually change it right here and set it to my max is 3000. You can set it to 3000. You can set it higher if you want to. It really doesn't matter at this point. But once you change it, it automatically sets it up at the top. Now, the one thing that Mellow Rebel didn't do is check this box right here. You check this box and you will no longer draw power. You can turn on every light, you can turn on whatever you want to, and it no longer reduces your electricity. Now you're going to do the same thing for mass. So we're going to do exact values and we're going to do, we're going to leave it on float. And mass is easier because of the simple fact it's a solid number and it doesn't change unless you're creating mass, but if you don't have any coming in and any going out, it doesn't matter. So do our first scan, 700. Now what we want to do is we want to burn some mass. So this one here uses 250 electricity and 50 mass. So we set our next one after we create it. Now if you watch, electricity does not go down. But the mass does. Because what that X does is it locks in 3,000. So anytime that tries to change, it'll always set it back to 3,000. So now we do our next scan of 650. And we look for the ones that are not changing. Now, before in my last video, I told you to pay attention to the last two places on the address. Now, this one's a 74, and that one's an 84. So these are not character values. These are the, the numeric, numeric values we're looking for. The letters at the end are going to be character values. So that's what you see is what the that is. So now we set this one at 700. Hit the OK. Raises it back to 700. And now you lock that one in like so. And you can come back over here. And you can create as many of these as you want. And they go right back. Now the other thing that this is extremely useful for is your response. Come up here to your bed, you open up, buy respawn all day long. You sit here and buy as many as you want, it doesn't change anything. Everything stays the same. And that's all I have for you. Thanks for watching.